dead against this, right? I cannot believe we're even discussing it. It just makes my blood boil. This is another ruse for us to forget everything that's going on in this dreadful world now. I mean, we'll be bringing back ration books next and stockings <laughs> and suspenders. You know, the thrupney bit. Why don't we bring that back? That would be really interesting. I mean, for God's sake, we've got enough going on in this world with people who can't afford heating. You can't, I mean, why are we even discussing this? It just makes my blood boil that we would even bother going down this road. I can't believe it. Just honest to God, that no one, no one, could, no one could talk this. But for, for me, I, I, please tell somebody say why we should do this. Okay, well, Neil Hamilton, somebody. he's the man. He's the man because he's very passionate about this. So, Neil, why is Sherry wrong on this? Well, because I believe in a free society, and she clearly doesn't. Uh, Steve Thoburn, greengrocer in the North East, uh, was uh, subject to criminal prosecution for selling bananas by the pound. Um, how absurd is that? Why should the government tell us what measures we want to use in our private and daily lives? The things that are convenient for us, we should be allowed to use. Why should we have to use the metric system if uh, somebody, uh, two people, want to trade in imperial measures? Nobody wants to drink two and a half pints of beer in one go in one single glass, which is what a litre is, more or less. A pint is a convenient measure, same as the foot and the inch are convenient measures in daily life. Nobody's going to abolish the metric system as a result of this review, but it's horses for courses. If you want to conduct scientific experiments and measure very small quantities, then millimetres is a very sensible way to do it. But if you want... Sherry, to Sherry, let, 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 let Sherry come back this. on that. Sherry? We have we have pounds, we have whatever we want. Nobody has to dictate to us what we should use. We already do it, for God's sake. I, You know, I say I'm five foot six. Do you know what I mean? I just don't understand why we would even bother. It should take away from what's happening in this world. Let's talk about the things that are really important that's going on, not this load of trollocks. <laughs> OK, well, Jay Aston, you're going to have the deciding vote on this. Let Neil, just let Jay come and I'll come back to you. Jay, where do you stand on this? Well, I think I ever really got into the big thing, so I, I think I've always used both. I'm making a cake, I want ounces pounds. If I'm weighing myself, I want stones, you know. Um, but if I'm measuring something, like I'm just about to buy a cupboard, I want that 100 thing because it makes it so much easier. So I think the building trade would definitely want to keep the metric system. And really, I think we should be able to choose whatever we want. It both, you know, they work either way. So it is a bit silly that he's brought this up. But I mean, I think everybody uses both ends. Neil, anyway, do you... When the metric... When the metric system was first introduced in revolutionary France in the 1790s, they wanted to decimalise the week as well, so that they wanted not seven days in the week, but ten days in the week. Well, there was a revolt against that because that meant you had one Sunday only every ten days rather than every seven days. So uh, you know, this attempt to create a rationality in measurement throughout the entire world, enforced from the centre by bureaucrats in government, seems to me to be fundamentally at odds with the way in which ordinary people want to live their lives. They should be free to use the measures that they want so long as pints and meters and so on are officially defined to prevent short measure and fraud i can't see why the government should want to get involved in this at all let's have freedom restored to our country one of the great benefits of brexit and neil you were actually the vice president of the british weights and measures association which has campaigned for decades to bring back imperial measures so you're very passionate about this right this isn't a throwaway issue for you no i'm very passionate about it because this is part of our history these measures have not been you know, the imperial measures have developed over centuries millennia in fact from the way in which ordinary people behave in their daily lives, whether it's for the purposes of, of trade or for uh, measuring your own height and weight, for example. I don't know how many people in this country think of, of their height in terms uh, of uh, metres uh, and centimetres. Um, Sherry, I don't know if you know how, how tall you are in, in, in the metric system, do you? Do you think in terms of feet and inches or do you think in terms uh, of metres? Can you tell me how tall you are in metres? 
I don't care how tall I am in me. This is five foot end of the story. What do I care about the meters? I mean, this is, it's freedom. It's what we, uh, this is what I've always done. It's what I will always do. And we should all be, do, do exactly what we want to do. You want the government to tell us how we should measure our height and weight I, rather I, than use the measures that are convenient for us. No, I don't want the government to tell us to do to be free to do what we want and say what we want. If I'm five foot six, I don't want to have to say it in other, any other way. Well, you should support I don't want anybody change, telling then. Me. You should support the change, then. All it means Sorry? is that you're giving people the freedom to do what pleases them rather than to do as they're told by petty bureaucrats like the ones who prosecuted Steve Thoburn, the greengrocer from the North East, because he had the temerity to do that appalling thing, sell a pound of bananas rather than a kilo of bananas. You know, this is the but sort of society which we've come to in the modern world, but which now we have the freedom to depart from. You are talking here. Because I am saying we should all be allowed to do what we want. We shouldn't be dictated by a government that says it should be metric. I have never been metric. I will never be metric. So I am doing what I want. We don't have somebody telling us what we should do. And so we're at cross purposes here then. No, no, not at all. We, the whole point of this is that we've got legislation which compels us to use one particular system of measurement rather than another. Uh, when I was the Weights and Measures Minister as a DTI, Department of Trade and Industry Minister, nearly 30 years ago, uh, I was told I had to make this compulsory because the EU had told us to do so. EU directive. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I believe in freedom and I believe this is a completely unnecessary bureaucratic measure which uh, is going to make life difficult for a lot of people, uh, particularly elderly people who are used to a completely different system. And as far as traders are concerned, they've already got weighing machines that operate in pounds and ounces rather than metric measures. Why should we force them to go through the expense of changing so that they can sell in more inconvenient units which their customers don't want. So, you know, this is all part of making Britain a freer and more liberal society. And goodness knows we have... Well, at least we can all agree on that. At least we can all agree on that. In so many different ways. Yes. This is a small measure, but it's an important one. OK, Neil Hamilton, the UKIP leader, thank you so much. And the actress and TV personality, Sherry Houston, thank you too. Thank you as well to Buxford's singer, Jay Aston. So who do you agree with on this? Well, Ant on Twitter says, how about the government sort out the cost of living crisis, prices at the pump and our crackling economy first? This Conservative government just doesn't have a plan for anything. Tom on Twitter, what's the point? Realistically, if we did change, all we'd do is continue using both simultaneously like we do now. Seems a waste of time discussing it when there's more important conversations to be had. And I think that was the point Sherry was making. And Sandy via email, I've never stopped using Imperial. I have no idea what a litre or metre looks like. And your verdict is now on this one, as I mentioned, surprisingly close. 40% of you think that the UK should return to imperial measurements, while 60% of you say we shouldn't. Coming up after I started a social media frenzy with a simple tweet, I ask, why is it still taboo to ask questions about face masks in 2022? Especially, by the way, face masks outside. The outsider himself, Neil Oliver, and I talked mask gate at 9.50.